If I had to pick a teacher who's had the most impact on me in my life, uh, it would be difficult because there's been so many. But I remember a husband and wife team when I was in middle school at Mansfield Middle School in Mansfield, Connecticut. And their names were Paula and Dan Coughlin. Paula taught science across the hall from Dan, who taught social studies. And actually, I don't think I had either one of them as a teacher, but they knew who I was. Uh, they knew who we all were. And I can remember in eighth grade that we all knew that they cared about us. We knew that they knew what was going on in our lives. They would ask us questions. Paula and Dan brought me out for ice cream a few times. I remember going to their house for the soupiest lasagna I've ever had in my life. I remember knowing that they respected me. I remember knowing that they wanted to know how I was. I remember knowing that they cared more about me than academics or um, my grades uh, or how I was doing in school. And I can remember that many times they would pull me aside if they knew that there was something going on in the weekend, maybe an unsupervised parent, uh, a party where parents weren't um, going to be supervising. And they would ask me um, if I was going to that party, and then they would gently say, you know, it might not be a good idea. And if you do go to the party, you might consider thinking about what kinds of choices you might make while you were there. And I can remember in eighth grade, literally not going to parties, simply out of respect for them, because I knew they cared so much about me. Um, I can remember another time when Dan uh, Coughlin took us on a field trip, and I can't remember where it was, but I do remember that, you know, when you got to go on field trips, you got to bring these great lunches from home with a can of something. We didn't have sugary things in my house, but I know I had a can of soda or something wrapped in aluminum foil like we used to. And I remember after lunch thinking it was cool to take my can and throw it behind a bush. And I remember the reaction and the surprise and the fear I had when I heard Dan Coughlin, Coughlin Mr. Coughlin, raise his voice and yell, Teresa Boulay, go pick up that can. And it was the first time that I heard uh, him yell. And it was the first time that I, heard, I saw or heard that side of him where he wasn't gentle and, and caring. He was really mad at me. And I remember picking up the can and then I remember him explaining to me why he was upset and how important it was that we didn't pollute and that we took care of the environment. Uh, flash forward to probably 30 years, 20 years, and I had my first sabbatical. During the sabbatical, I focused on environmental care, and I focused on global warming and helping young children to identify um, their carbon footprint and reduce their carbon footprint. I'll never forget the impact that Dan Coughlin made on me. But in addition to Dan and Paula Coughlin, I just have to say, that I think my mother was the teacher that has had the biggest impact on me as a Montessorian, uh, as a future early childhood professor, but as my mom and as a person who demonstrated humility, a sense of justice, social justice, racial justice, who helped me to understand right from wrong, who um, used to explain things to me. Like I can remember one time driving by a house and she stopped and said, you see that house? Do you see how it's a mess and there's, they, they need paint and the house is falling apart? And she said, some people may judge and say, those people don't know how to take care of their house or, you know, why is it such a mess? And my mom explain, explained to me that probably they were using the money that they had to feed their children or to buy clothes or to do something else that's much uh, needed or necessary. Um, and she really helped me to understand time and time again through little snippets like that that no one is better than anyone else and that there are many conditions that lead someone to their current circumstances. And um, so for me, I think my mother uh, is the greatest teacher of all.